What's good, y'all? Michael here today with another video. Um, before I begin, please go subscribe. I'm doing this very late. I usually do this early in the morning, but I have work, I have plans, so pretty much this was a pretty late night prediction video because the game is currently tomorrow. The Bears will play the Rams in L.A. tomorrow. This has been a familiar matchup. You know, Jared Goff has hasn't looked like the best quarterback when he when he played the Bears before. Yeah, we, the moment we lost to him in uh, 2019, but that was 29. Granted, 2019 the Bears didn't look like a good team. Near did the Rams. Jared Goff looked mediocre in, in his rookie year before he got McVay, and then make, his worst ever. His worst record under McVay has been nine and seven. That that was the worst record he ever had with Mc, with McVay. But Jared Goff has been looking pretty decent lately. You know, you could say his, four of his wins have been against NFC East teams. Yeah, they really haven't been playing the best of the best. But Jared Goff is actually playing decent um, lately. Yeah, he's probably not the MVP quarterback he was in 2018, but a lot of, like, Jared Goff has been playing decent, really. They really have no run game. I don't even know who the running back is, but the only way you're going to hurt the Bears defense is if you have a good running back. We haven't, and I don't think those two running backs – can torch the Bears defense. Even if they do run the ball, I don't have a feeling that they're elite enough to, you know, torch us all game. So pretty much they're going to go in the passing game and just throw the ball a lot, which we are really good with Jalen Johnson and Kyle Fuller. And with the pass rusher, yeah, the Rams have a good offensive line, but I'm not too worried considering um, our offensive line. Any def any offensive line that goes up against the Bears defense is actually going to get torched. So I'm not worried about having to go up against a offensive line. As far as injuries go, um, the Bears look very clean on injury reports. So do the Rams, but the Rams tight end um, – I think of his name was Tyler Tree or whatever. He's questionable to play. He, I think he didn't participate in three practices. So he, he is questionable to play. And um, their defense, okay, their defense, their only pass rusher is Aaron Donald. And the only way you're going to stop Aaron Donald is to double and, and triple team the guy. That's how you're going to shut down Aaron Donald. It's to double and triple him the entire game. If you do that, you're going to win. They really have no pass rushers besides Aaron Donald. You know, Jalen Ramsey is their corner. You know, him, Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey are the, t are the two best players in the on that defense. So... Maybe it's the defense is not really too much of a concerning, and plus they have they have our old friend um, Letter Floyd. <laughs> Letter Floyd has not been pretty been getting to the quarterback lately, even though he's been with Aaron Donald. Not surprisingly, he was with Khalil Mack for two seasons and didn't do didn't do that very well, which was the reason we cut at him. And Robert Quinn is basically the reason why Khalil Mack is getting his numbers every day. So pretty much I could see this being a low score game considering both offenses both offenses of both offenses are a little bit um mediocre, I should say. But after watching Cam Newton play against the 49ers, I think it pretty much concerns it it has a reason why we didn't get Cam Newton, but I would have loved to have Cam Newton. You know, Cam Newton's probably one of my favorite players. You know, that, that's why I regret starting him, starting him, because he really disappointed me in fantasy, but is what it is, you know. He's on the Patriots right now. 
he got benched for Jared Statham. I don't know how this goes for now, but Cam Newton's can I could just say this. Cam Newton's done. He had his last chance and he blew it. Okay. I was going to eat crow if he won MVP. <laughs> but my whole thing is Nick Foles might not be the best quarterback in the league right now, but he's like the average quarterback and he's like an average type of quarterback. He might not be a Patrick Mahomes or Tom Brady type of quarterback, but he fits the system just fine. But I do see see this being a low score game considering we're traveling to LA. You know, we just went to Carolina, now we're traveling to LA. So it won't be a very good day for our offense. They'll be okay. Maybe Nick Froze throws a touchdown. Maybe to Jimmy Graham, maybe an interception because he – maybe he has two touchdowns, maybe one interception. And um, the run game, I, I do predict Montgomery to have one rushing touchdown. Um, Jimmy Graham to have a big game. I really do think Jimmy Graham will be the player of the game, win or lose. Jimmy Graham is going to be the player of the game considering um, – George Kittle had a big game against the Rams, but I'm not calling George Kittle. I'm not calling Jimmy Graham a George Kittle type of tight end. Jimmy Graham will just go in the red zone and just catch the ball. So pretty much Jimmy Graham is going to be the player of the game, win or lose. You heard it first. Jimmy Graham is going to be the player of the game. Now, I can see this being a defensive battle between – but I do think that the Bears will win a low score of 16 to 10. And having the last play be a defensive stop by the Bears. Now, I really do think the Bears will move to 6 and 1. I really do think that our defense will show up in plot prime time again. You know, it is what it is. The time for talk is over. It's time to play. Let's hope we get a W and pretty much do it with a smile. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Subscribe. My name is Michael, and I approve this message.